Hi, this is Michael. Welcome to week two. So uh, for each week, I plan to give you a little video to go over what happened last week, any movements or corrections that we need, and introduce the next week. So uh, last week, everything went really well. I was going to say, if anything, uh, we've got such a nice, I call it a small class. I've had up to 20 people where this can be much more chaotic. And that chaos is on purpose. So uh, I don't think you guys really got the stress and the chaos of trying to uh, figure out how to not stumble over each other, which is fantastic. But that chaos is intentional because sometimes in an information architecture, we're having to figure out how to get people oriented when some things are indeed not very well organized. So just look back to this experience again, a little bit calm. I think everyone did a great job at, at understanding sort of the bigger picture, but it's going to lay a foundation as we move forward into where we wanna be. But this week is week two, which is gonna be, I'd say a bit challenging because we're gonna talk about data. And in order to get data, you need to go find data and you need to get it someplace. So that is where I recommend sharing early and often in the course so I can help and give some uh, tips and tricks. I also will go on the same journey with you. So uh, this is an example of what I was interested in, which was reorganizing this site that I didn't think was fairly well organized. So I, I used and scraped the data from their site. So scraping data is sort of a, a aspect here that may or may not be uh, may you may or may not be comfortable with uh, if so uh, there are some tips and some uh, helpers within the course module so start there read up there's also tons of uh, help that i've put into assignment two which is going to begin and it's going to be due next week i believe so I'll, I'll double check but no it's going to be due two weeks from now so pardon me i check my own dates but we're starting it now so by the end of this week, we wanna be looking at a table of data. And that's what we're gonna go and actually we're kinda of learning or you're gonna learn underneath the hood, all uh, websites are based on data and that data can be pulled out. It's fairly interesting actually. Um, there's also, if you're somewhat expert at this, there's JSON data sources that uh, could also be interesting. I would say please read up on the assignment because we're looking for data that's fairly qualitative, a little bit easy to read, not you know scores and scores of numbers or things like that. So lots of tips in the course module, which is in Canvas. So um, yeah, so the uh, thing is, you're also gonna you know start by just exploring a really great uh, place to think about. Um, I would say think about the data itself, that's Twitter. So I talk up here about what Twitter is and also here's another example of here's what uh, the data set is for iTunes. So these are things we're familiar with, but a lot of times we're very focused on some of the higher quality rating kind of stuff. We'll get to that, I'll say it a lot in this class. We'll get to that in week eight. Right now we're starting at the very bottom. This means almost nothing. There's almost no value to it, but same thing is true of Twitter. How do you go and search Twitter and find something without using hashtags? <laughs> Which I don't say specifically, but that's the real lesson here is that they've come up with ways to organize that are better. Hashtags are one of them. But if you're actually searching the data itself, which is represented up here, there is a search um, system. And that's trying to learn how do these sort of uh, mysterious uh, points like a geolocation is a really interesting one. Uh, time is an interesting one. These are uh, attributes of a tweet that actually can help give you some, um, you know, give, give you some interesting information. But you're, you're working with raw data that's actually not very useful. That's the point of this exercise. So don't get thrown off. This is kind of to understand, in a sense, how to make sense out of somewhat unstructured data. And don't you know, as I said, this is an exercise to get used to it, not to uh, triumph. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting. So uh, this is about uh, just experimenting with that data. And then you need to go find some and put it into Airtable and find a subject that you think is something you could, you know, kind of uh, understand a little bit because you don't want data that is completely meaningless to you. So it should have some quote unquote meaning. Try not to make it. Well, again, there's lots and lots of tips. Uh, please experiment, try some things early on, see what you can get. 
Uh, Airtable also has its own data uh, sample databases that you're welcome to use too. That's pretty simple, but I think I think you might find that uh, this is a, a challenge, but not too deep. And if you share early, I will be happy to give you feedback. So that's week two. As this is the cadence. Uh, also, I try, try to grade on Tuesdays, and then I'm going to be um, giving you some sort of a video introduction on Wednesdays. And good luck, and have a happy 4th of July as well. Cheers.